half a million people pack Epsom to bursting point. And now to watch the coronation derby comes Her Majesty the Queen. Her car, bearing the royal standard, moves slowly down the course from Tattenham Corner. Accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh, who wears a grey topper for the occasion, the Queen waves acknowledgement to the welcoming cheers. As the royal car comes to the Jockey Club enclosure, Her Majesty's standard is broken. The Earl Marshal, the Duke of Norfolk, is among those who welcome the Queen. Bigger than ever crowds have gathered at Epsom for this royal derby, but as usual, it's as difficult as ever to pick the one that's going to be first past the post. The old firm are still at it. Looks like they've got the coronation fever as well. Feel like a snack before getting down to business? Real slippery eels, they're lovely. Still got a bit of time before the derby proper starts, so you might as well lose your money here as down on the course. Looks like the racing is soon to start, so let's go down with the crowd to the paddock. Yes, it's a really international affair this year. And what a chance for the fashion spotters. Her Majesty, wearing a coat of steel blue, is escorted by Lord Rosebery. Princess Margaret is another member of the Queen's party. Hopes are high that there'll be a royal victory. And Harry Carr, who will be riding Oriole, the Queen's horse, seems pretty confident that he'll show a clean pair of heels to the rest of the 27 runners. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, joins her daughter to study the field before the start. They'll soon be on their way now, and Oriole's already starting to show a bit of temperament. Let's hope he stops that before the tapes go up. Oriole's still up to his tricks and giving Harry Carr a whole heap of trouble. He is a really highly strung animal and doesn't care for big occasions like this. Pinza, with Gordon Richards up, looks sprightly enough. Since this may be Gordon's last attempt at a derby win, everyone's wishing him luck. But what a thrill it would be if the Queen were to win in coronation year. Seems as though a dead heat's the only answer. They're all up by the tapes and under starter's orders. Won't be long now. Princess Margaret has a last minute checkup, and there they go. It's a pretty good start, but Scorpio and Durham Castle didn't fare so well. Moving uphill, City Scandal takes the lead. Empire Honey, Jaffa the second, and Star of the Forest aren't far behind. Oreo's going along comfortably in the middle of the pack. Anybody want a horse in their lap? Along by the bushes, the Aga Khan Shikampur takes the lead from City Scandal. Gordon's keeping Pinzer in the middle. He's not going to challenge for a long time yet. Shikampur holds the lead as the field heads downhill towards Tattenham Corner. Good Brandy, Mountain King and Star of the Forest are all well placed. But Charlie Smirk keeps Shikampur well out in front. It's still Shikampur as they thunder round Tattenham Corner. But Gordon's moving up on Pinza. Oriole's well there. It's going to be a terrific battle. Now watch Gordon's Pinza movement. Steadily but surely, he's gaining on Shikampur. Looks like a derby win is in Gordon's reach at long last. As Pinzer draws away, Harry Carr brings Oriole into third place. Just behind is Pink Horse. They're on the last stretch now. We'll soon see if Pinzer can keep it up. He's still in front with Shikampur, Oriole and Pink Horse going gamely not far behind. Now Oriole moves up to take second place. 
but it's Pinzer's victory, and in comes Gordon to chalk up his first ever Derby win. Too bad the Doriole couldn't quite win for the Queen, but what a fitting reward for the great little knight of the turf. He rode a perfect race, keeping his mount back until exactly the right moment, and how the crowd acclaim him for bringing off the greatest classic of them all at long last. Her Majesty the Queen receives Gordon in the royal box and congratulates him warmly on his magnificent victory. Soon the Queen will bestow upon Gordon Richards, perhaps the greatest jockey in racing history, the proud title, Sir Gordon.